Welcome to another session of batteries. Today we'll understand about alkaline cell which is a primary battery type. Before we move on, subscribe for more such informative videos and tap the like button if you like the video and share it with your friends. First let us understand the difference between electrochemical and electrolytic cell. In an electrochemical cell, the chemicals present inside the battery undergoes chemical reaction to produce electricity. That is, the chemical energy is getting converted to electrical energy. This happens during the discharging cycle of the battery. In an electrolytic cell, when the electricity is passed, the chemical reactions takes place inside the battery. That is, the electrical energy is getting converted to chemical energy. So, this happens during the charging cycle of the battery. So, both the charging and discharging cycles takes place only in rechargeable type of batteries. So, we will understand about the classification of battery. In a primary battery, the chemicals present inside the battery undergoes chemical reaction to produce electricity. Once the reactance gets almost over or get converted to the product, the battery gets exhausted or dead. So, we cannot use the battery further. It cannot be recharged. So, it acts only as an electrochemical cell. Examples are dry cell and alkaline cell. In a secondary battery, the, it can be recharged for many charging and discharging cycles. The cell reactions can be reversed by passing electricity in the opposite direction. So, it can act both as an electrochemical cell and electrolytic cell. Examples are nickel cadmium battery and lead acid battery. In a flow battery, as long as we supply the chemicals, that is the reactants involved in the reaction, through the cell, we get electricity. Once we stop the supply, we will not be getting electricity. So, the example is fuel cell. Let us understand the construction of a alkaline cell. Here we can see, first we should look into this uh, instructions, that is we should have AA or alkaline battery should be written, only then it is alkaline battery because it is almost similar to your dry cell. This is just a add of the plastic wrapper. Once we remove this wrapper, we will see a grey container which is nothing but a zinc container. So, here we are representing the zinc container which is acting as a anode. So, once we break open this battery further, we will see that there is a black color rod which is carbon or a graphite rod which acts as a cathode. To hold this black color rod, we will have a shoulder or a collar here. And the electrolyte here is different from the ones we saw in the dry cell. That is, we are having the same MnO2, but we have replaced the acidic nature of electrolyte with basic nature. That is, we had NH4Cl there, which was acidic in nature. We had some issues with that. So, in order to overcome that issue, NH4Cl is replaced with KOH, which is alkaline in nature, that is, basic in nature. So, this electrolyte is made in the form of a paste with the help of some starch and it is placed around the cathode inside the battery. So, this is the construction of the battery and the top edge, this is a me uh, metal cap which is the positive end and the bottom is the negative end of the battery. To summarize, we can see that anode is a zinc container, cathode is a graphite or a carbon rod and electrolyte is a mixture of MnO2 and KOH. And the cell voltage is similar to dry cell that is 1.5 ohms. We will look into the cell reactions. At anode, as we all know, always oxidation occurs. Here the anode is zinc container. The zinc reacts with 2 OH- that is we are getting this OH- from the KOH solution that which is our electrolyte and it forms zinc hydroxide and releases two electrons. At cathode, usually the cathode does not undergo cathodic reaction but the electrolyte undergoes the cathodic reaction. Here the major electrolyte is MnO2. It reacts with water which is again present in the electrolyte itself. We are using aqueous KOH and we are also using starch as a binder so we will be having sufficient amount of water and the electron released at the anode is taken up at the cathode that is it gains electrons to form Mn2O3 that is manganese oxide and releases 2OH minus. Here one important thing is manganese is a transition metal and it occurs in various oxidation states. Although we are representing only Mn2O3, it can form different types of manganese oxides.
so it is a mixture of manganese oxides so it is not a simple reaction as we are seeing it's a complex reaction now if you look at the overall reaction here the hydroxide ions are formed at the cathode and taken up at the anode and the electrons are released at the anode and gained at the cathode so the electrons get cancelled and the hydroxide ions get cancelled and we have zinc plus mn2 mno2 plus water to form znoh2 and mn2o3 this is our overall reaction now let us understand about the advantages of alkaline cell alkaline battery is always superior to the dry cell because we had some limitations in the dry cell and we are going to overcome those limitations in the alkaline battery that is when the current is withdrawn rapidly from it the voltage does not drop but we saw that the voltage was dropped when the current was withdrawn rapidly in the dry cell since the electrolyte is alkaline in nature the zinc metal does not dissolve in it because it does not dissolve there is no corrosion in the battery and the cell will have a very long life and there is good efficiency from the beginning till the end of the cell's life now let us look into the applications of alkaline cell wherever we are using dry cell we can use alkaline uh, cell that is clocks remote controls small toys calculators torch lights transistors radios and flashlight cameras are outdated now uh, we are not using it but they were using alkaline cell instead of dry cell there thank you that's all for this session let us meet in another session until then bye bye please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and share this video with your friends and tap the like button if you like the video thank you